Christ, the fact that it's right there, opposite. Yeah. These guys have absolutely no idea. <laughs> this group has been active for over 300 years and has been surrounded by conspiracy theories and conspiracy facts. This is due to secret gatherings, sacrifices, rituals and powerful members which include politicians, civil servants, media tycoons and celebrities. Churchill was a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Uh, not for long. Oh. <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> How come? I think he tried to form a lodge. It wasn't viable as a as a proposition and of course they said no and then I think he got a bit upset about it. Well, but Alistair Crowley. Oh, he and was he, he was he like a lodges, he lodges, he? yeah he was like a grandmaster. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. That mean that he was in Freemasonry. He kind of clocked the levels and then he just started his own thing. Because I know he had the OVO lodge, isn't it? Yeah yeah. Did did that come after? Or? Yeah. Ah yeah. oh, okay. A lot of people did that. You know they they come here and then they start. Because of this, they have opened their doors and are actively working to improve their image. When you go there, you won't be told about their sinister side. Rather, you'll see some impressive antiques, relics and artifacts. You'll hear rhetoric like, we do a lot of charity, we encourage people to become better and we accept all faiths and backgrounds. Even their official books and literature focuses more on their honest beginnings rather than their secrets and controversies. Bearing that in mind, not all Masons are of the same calibre. There is a hierarchy of 33 degrees or levels. Many people that we'll see are just regular people who go to lodges as a hobby and even they may be unaware of what goes on at the higher levels. The higher you go, the more you know, but the more dangerous it is for you to expose what goes on. So he mentions the rituals here. That's crazy. What I wanted to question by making this video is, firstly, in a supposed free, transparent and democratic society, why are our leaders part of such secret and sinister groups and why is it considered acceptable? All this tem Temple of Solomon stuff, I kind of took it with a pinch of salt. I don't know how important this was to these people. Secondly, I also wanted to draw attention to the importance of symbolism to these people. And finally, how with a bit of good PR, even the devil can seem like a saviour. There it is. Guys, this is mad. Checkered flooring. You got the symbolism, you got the chair. Mm. So Nehru was a mason? Yeah, you can't take oh. pictures of them though. Oh. Um, they're actually, the copyright belongs to the Grand Lodge of India. Oh. Um, and who's that one? That's the same. Of course you must have waited. Symbolism is very important to these people. See, this bloke over here was Prince Edward, the Prince of Wales. So he served three months in the battleship Hindustan and he was initiated as a member. So here you've got Prince Albert. 
he was initiated into the naval lodge. Rishi or Kitchener. Yeah. So he's the guy from that picture that's always pointing and saying, go to war and that. Kitchener was introduced to Freemasonry and he was a member of 15 lodges. A lot of people see this picture, mate, but they don't know that the guy was a Mason. Three centuries of Freemasonry. You know, uh, I came here thinking, you know what, it's Freemasonry, conspiracy, YouTube, really old books, but I've come here thinking, oh, it's going to be unusual, secret, but they're very open and blasé about it, they're celebrating the 300th year, they've got pictures, they've got memorabilia, they've got badges, they've got mugs, they've got chalices, they've got all sorts here. And it's normal, you can access the computer, they've got their own library, they've got their own souvenirs, and you know, you, you can see all of this stuff. Now, if you follow me, got some symbology. They're just throwing it out here now, isn't it? Really? Yeah, you can, you can come, you can hold it, you can massage it, you can uh, sneeze on it. <laughs> you know, you, yeah. <laughs> you know, sneeze on it, you know, wipe your bogey on it, whatever. It's, it's just here, isn't it? You got you got all sorts bro, you can uh, slap it, you can uh, you know, do that to it, you can whack it whack it with the magnifying glass, you can do anything to it, you know what I mean? And look, look over here fam, man got the, man got the apron and man got the little danda and everything in it. You got the little checkered floor in and you got the little soti and that in it. Flipping everything over here fam, look you got the little candle there, you got the chadar there bro. Checkered flooring bro, that's in pretty much uh, every uh, house in Pakistan as it is, in the toilets though, it's in the, it's in the toilets though, isn't it? Because uh, you need some checkered flooring in the toilet. So our symbology is in the toilet when we're taking a dump. <laughs> Their symbology is in the sitting room. Our one's gonna be in the toilet, mate. When, when you're looking for the lot and then... Imagine if you had one of these, how much would it be worth? Yeah, it would be, it'd be worth sticking in the toilet and doing a stinge over there, isn't it bro? <laughs> That's uh, that's what it'll be worth. It'll be it'll be worth my uh, Zohar time stinger. <laughs> that's that's what it is, bro. Best be, bestie of the Freemasons. I don't think you can. And plus, bro, I don't know. Some of these guys are proper. They don't do a stinger, isn't it? So yeah, you, you know, that's that's why I don't want to get that that filth. Because look, they lot they are locked inside cabinets, bro. You want you want you want my lotta? It's got the little symbols and everything on it. It's, it's on the floor in my toilet, mate. That's why I can't be trusted. Don't want to get my uh, my ass dirty, bro. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> I think uh, the artist here got really cheesed off. I don't think he was happy. He started cutting cutting a lot of corners, mate. He's in that bit. What's it called? Taking a mate. No, Picasso. Van Gogh chopped his ear off, didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, I think that's where it is. The Masons took it. <laughs> I mean, like, these guys are ruthless. We, that's some classy lotta, bro. If you do a stinger with that, you're rolling. What about if you finish your stinger off with this? Yeah, bro, that, that, would, that would cut you down there, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, it's quite sharp. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say that bro, I can feel it already. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be smooth bro, it's gotta be smooth. Can't be uh can't be cutting it down there, you know what I mean? What if you just Look at these bold look bold bold locks on the three bears. <laughs> <laughs> We're on loads of Russia. <laughs> yeah, assalamu alaikum guys. So inshallah you benefited from this uh, very interesting journey. Uh, that we've been on, we've seen a lot and there will be a lot of food for thought but there's one big thing that you guys have to promise me that you're not going to do 
which is go full on psycho conspiratorial this deen will always be successful yeah it's written within our scriptures that we will attain success so inshallah that will happen what you do is the best you can which is educate yourself do what you can on a grassroots level if there is anything that you can do alhamdulillah inshallah do it but don't lose hope don't become despondent and think it's all doom and gloom and it's all negative yeah we can make a difference even let's just say there's 7,000 people even if you can save say 10 do it save five do it saving one will be enough for you inshallah you pick something up from it which is don't just accept what you're fed don't accept the standard narrative do your own research question what you're told and yeah Freemasonry is a thing.